you're the captain. Juve last last game of the season docked more points, relegated. You doing the Del Piero? You staying down? What do you think Del Piero was thinking at the time? If I'm the player right now, yeah, yeah. I'm the captain. Yeah. They're saying no. We're getting the R you're word. going. Yeah, you're getting, no, no. You're getting oh, relegated. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling everyone like, <laughs> can't wait to see you next year. I think next year is going to be a year we'll be up and stuff back back in the. <laughs> Back in Serie A, yeah. Serie B is not for us. We know that, boys. Us, we just want everyone to commit. <laughs> Do the three sixty out the door, bro. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Not shaking, no hands, not dapping up, no one. I'm at that door. I'm not. I'm, I'm leaving everything there. I'm leaving my phone, everything. I'm leaving everything. I'm making sure people think I'm still training and shit. I'm leaving the shower on. <laughs> leaving voice memos on me whistling in the shower I'm gonna think I'm gonna make sure everyone thinks I'm still at the club I'm gonna pay Fabrizio five mil just to tell everyone here we go again Kajorin is signing for Juve he's staying any other rumours are completely wrong don't believe anything I'm staying I'm going I don't care if he's going to a Serie B team to another Serie B team <laughs> just to beat these guys I'm out of there if these guys don't know don't learn from the first mistake. What makes you think they're going to learn from the second, third, fourth, fifth? They can go down to league fucking Zid, Series Z, for all I know. So, why the fuck am I saying this? Yeah. It's a fucking volcano it's ready exactly. to erupt. Perfect. Oh, like that. <laughs> Does he look like the owner of Hardcore Porn? You know that show? Yeah. No. Oh, oh Hardcore Porn. How's yeah, it spelled? Lads. Hardcore Porn. Oh, yeah. It's shitter than porn stars, though. Yeah, it is. I was thinking of that. Yeah, porn show is better. Hardcore yeah. porn's like the, the shitter one. Nah, but it has more drama one? though. Is the porn stars the, the one where they- The one with the family? The, the chubby guys. And and like, the old is it where they bring in like, yeah, he's like, oh, I want 10 grand for this guitar. Yeah, and, and they're like, like um, I can do two, two and a half. I'll give you 200. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, random. Oh, no, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Wait, always around that time. What's the one? Oh no, Hardcore Porn's good. Yeah, yeah Hardcore Porn's dramatic. That's the one with the family, isn't it? Yeah, Hardcore Porn's the, the dad, the, dad, the, the daughter, the brother. That's, the brother. that's the LeBron James' soccer. That's from yeah, Hardcore and they're Porn. All no, that's from Porn Stars. That's from Porn Stars. Yeah, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what's that's Hardcore the Porn? Then. Hardcore Porn is the they're dad. It's this a one's big, his it's a son. Hardcore porn. The dad and the son one. That's the one I like. Yeah, that's porn stars. They collect that's like memorabilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardcore porn is like a porn store. Yeah, and it's just like people bringing it in. What's the one you can't oh, people like And do they have massive security guards yeah, in there? There's a yeah. big black security yeah. guard. Yeah. Always. What's yeah. that yeah. one? Yeah. There's another one, like which is shit up. Which one's the one where they bring people That's porn stars. That's porn stars. Yeah. You, you can't mm. treat people like a piece of sausage. Oh, you know yeah. that? What's that like? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, like, the guy's like, no, my guitar is literally worth so much. And he's like, no, it's not. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm that's not that giving that. Yeah. anything. He goes, well, they can't keep treating people like a piece of sausage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, as he's getting thrown out. <laughs> that was like the era of that show. There was like Storage Turtle Wars. Man. Storage, oh, Storage Wars. Wars. Yeah. Storage, Wars. Storage Wars is good. American Pickers. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like Turtle, Turtle Man. Turtle Man. Yeah. Live action, people. Live action. Live action. <laughs> live action, people. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, the guy I love used, Turtle uh, The repo guy. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, that was so good. And good. And they're coming out. Hey. Oh, dog. Hey, you can't do this. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is you can't the, do this. Dog, the no, bounty dog the bounty hunter. Black chick. You know the, and she does the same thing. Storage Wars was so set. You know, oh, you know, I love Storage Wars. I think it's fake. Doesn't she repo cars? Yeah, she repos cars. Yeah, yeah, she goes and tries to chase the car, then she gets like, pushed over oh. the like, balcony. See, this is the best year of you know TV. It she's was like, like 2012. Black chick, like yeah. she's no? huge. And the person tries to steal the car back from her, and they're like, she's like a tomboy. Yeah, like bad. Oh. Maybe but she's she was like on six foot. You, 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 you would have seen she it. She chases down once, the car, probably. and then the person drives into her, and she goes over the balcony, and they're like, oh my god! Drives into the repo lady. Yeah, maybe oh. she was just like someone that worked with that guy. Yeah. Hardcore Paul. Uh, no, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Repo car Maybe. lady. In storage wars, they used to like bluff the other people who yeah. were like buying. Yeah, the I love that one. Make them pay so much. Because they get like yeah. how long? 30 seconds to look? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they pretend they found something. Like, yeah. But it's yeah. 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 Bernice. You don't know it? This Show us a photo of her. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Bernice don't play that. And then yeah. they drive over and she <laughs> yeah. falls. You're like, oh, Bernice. Wait, you guys didn't watch Turtle Man? 
No, I did. I knew no. what it was, but I was that it. total man? Yeah, the fucking like when people had like wild animals at their houses, he'd go. Yeah, he's like, like American Steve. Yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. Yeah, live yeah. action people, live action. That must have been gun well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on like nine go. Yeah, you know? me and Jeremy used to watch Turtle Man all the time. Do you remember? All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good night. You're back with Let Him Shoot. We're here. On your Thursday nights, speaking about everything, not just football anymore, everything <laughs> else. Maybe we'll leave. Maybe we'll leave some of that shit in. Who knows? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll branch into something else. Yeah. One day. Maybe we'll, leave, we'll own a couple of TikToks from um, storage wars and shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got the full full compliment today. To my very right, it's your boy MJ, born in Africa, gang. I'm here. Go. Happy to be here as always. Mm-hmm. Life's good. Arsenal's good. Hey, five at the back today. Five at the back. Were you born in Africa? Or is that just part of it? Of course, man. I wouldn't <laughs> say it if I wasn't. Um, no, nah, these are questions people probably ask. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. I man. have sent yeah. them in, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a nice guy, you know? I think for the people, you know? Yeah. People's champ. Tom. You are? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I think you are. Yeah. Thomas? Canberra stayed off. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, uh, we did testing for football the other day. So same strength in my legs as Sador. I heard otherwise. <laughs> yeah. I heard otherwise from someone. <laughs> Tom, don't tell him about these ones. Don't worry about it. Don't worry only, about the hammers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <the top. laughs> Your um, front front half dominant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. how you just fall over? Yeah. <laughs> That's why he can't stay still. <laughs> <laughs> he just tips over. <laughs> he walks like this. <laughs> That's the one. He just leans back <laughs> so he doesn't fall. Uh, uh, to my left. And to his left... PBB, pretty boy Bud, back at it again. You know, I checked the followers. We're only at, you know, three-digit number. I'm not a mathematician, but no, it doesn't add up. We're on a four-digit number now. Yeah, that's what on I meant. On IG still. Are we? Yeah. 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 Almost twelve. Yeah. No, almost eleven. Eleven. Almost yeah. eleven. Yeah. I stand corrected. I don't know. I don't know what uh, happened. Things happen I think it was that, tic- that fuck TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> things happen overnight. Oh, it's what you said about... <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just you. Yeah. 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 Well, that's how they saw it. Yeah. But yeah, I stand corrected. So you guys are doing well. Keep it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, they are doing well. Yeah. Almost. We're almost at 1,800 subs as well. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, that went quick. You know, I uh, uh, saw a fact. This is when we started. So this is what kept me going. Um, <laughs> only... 1% of YouTube channels get to 50 subscribers. You know that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, who said who said this fact? What's your name? No, legit. I don't remember. I just so remember. Rare. No, no. What's I your name? I remember hearing that. What's your name? Oh, and to his left. <laughs> <laughs> Pengus Tech is... I might start going by Samuel, but if I do, <laughs> if I do, Denai's going to get upset because he said, I don't need no finesse name. These guys need finesse names. Yeah. Yo, yo, but yeah, Samuel, dirt Pegasus bike. Techers or Samuel, whatever you want. Not <laughs> Hey Fever Survivor. Not the M1? No. <laughs> What's the M1? <laughs> Mule. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start that on you, right? <laughs> Man, that's oh. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I got a message from a guy from South Africa the other day <laughs> saying mule. Nah, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Love the podcast all the way from South Africa." Yeah, we've been oh, getting nice. messages. I said, "Thanks, brother." I'm telling you, we've been getting messages. Have to take my my friend Mitch on a trip to South Africa. He said, "Bring him." He said, "Bring him along." Is it? Pause. Some of the comments from last week's episode before we get into it. Uh, my guy, fuck, I apologize if I blitz this um, pronunciation, but Omena Kayoda. <laughs> nah, I didn't, bl- I got it. That's pretty good. Okay, Best podcast it. in the world. Don't play, he said. Hell Let's yeah. go. Say again. Omenya? Omena? Kayoda. Kayoda. That's good. That's good. That's really good. It's yeah. one of my favorites. That's how actually. I would have said it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one. Always a good listen. Thanks, Phil. Phil. Phil 3943. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Phil. That'll do, yeah. Phil. You're a what legend. a nice guy, man. Cheers, Phil. There's heaps more, but... There's heaps more. Someone said screenshot. love from Ukraine the other day. Yeah, oh, shit. We're really worldwide at the moment. Yeah, South Sharky Africa. Sharky does sport. Sharky mm. commented on our video. Yeah. 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 Wait, someone from Ukraine commented? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sick. Before we start the episode, <laughs> make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, follow, 
Follow everything. If you sub on YouTube and you're not following IG, follow. If you're mm. sub on YouTube, you don't follow the TikTok, follow it. If you're, yeah. you're a follow on TikTok, and you don't, make sure you run up the subscribers and the followers yeah. on IG. But and if, you're, if you somehow found us on IG first, uh, <laughs> yeah. you've fucking broken the matrix. Yeah. Or you were just, just like, click the little do it. Or you were doing late night snooping. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, all right, boys. We're, gonna, we're just going to go all over the place today. Quick Prem Roundup. Arsenal... <laughs> Arsenal face, beat United 3-2 United are now out of the title race are they actually? <laughs> no they're <laughs> not <laughs> they're so far away man. Yeah. they're out of the title race it was got 11 points ahead with a game in hand their title race it was lasted one two case. weeks it lasted <laughs> two weeks but they were saying if they had beat Crystal Palace and beat Arsenal they would have been three points oh shit and they didn't do either they didn't do either Arsenal too good we're, respectfully we're better than all of you. We're better than you ever were. We're better no, than you are true. now. It's not true. Any team that wants to come close to us, you, we're better than you. We're, we're better than Liverpool. Fucking nowhere near. Chelsea, awful. We'll get into that fucking snore fest in a second. <laughs> City, we're better than them. Who else? Good, who else? Good? You haven't even versed City yet. Yeah. Either bro. time. Exactly, bro. They can beat us. Just they can beat relax. us twice, 16 nil. We're still going to be first. Relax. Relax. <laughs> you see how MJ needed his parliament to do this? Last <laughs> week when we gave him the whole segment to say this, he didn't say anything. Relax, mate. Ah, man. Mark, what were your Why thoughts you on the game? It's not about me. It's about Arsenal. And the, the game. Team, the game. We didn't, we didn't particularly play well, but I think that's just the new Arsenal. I think mentality monsters... We can see we score within six minutes. Mm. Um, we managed the game pretty well. Zinchenko masterclass, Saka masterclass, certified. And we're just we're pretty solid. Yeah, we conceded a bomb from Rashford. I think he's having a sublime mm. season. Mm. Like yeah. Rashford, yeah. right listening. now, he was listening when we spoke about him. <laughs> yeah, he he's got something to prove. Like his one v one ability, he's. He just shoots on sight. He's mm. got so much confidence, and you can see that United just they need him. And mm. if he's firing. They have a chance to beat anyone. Um, but yeah, I thought Arsenal again, big second result. Half, yeah. Big second half, big response. <laughs> Did it or So sure. So. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I thought it was going to be a tough game to be fair because United, you know, they've got a great manager. They've got a good side. Um, but yeah, we did well to win and I thought we deserved it. We had, we created the most amount of chances. We didn't finish a bit too hesitant at times, but the three points, man. That's yeah, good. absolutely. And yeah, we're, we're not going to stay on this for too long because it's c becoming a bit too... <laughs> Every week, huh? Yeah, like, mm. otherwise we're just going to... Oh, Siri. <laughs> we're just going to end up... up I'm talking with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to end up talking about this every single <laughs> week, but I just wanted to give a shout out to Zinchenko, my man of the match. I tweeted it, but I think people thought I was joking. Zinchenko is better right now and always is better than Gary Neville ever could be or ever was. I don't care if Gary Neville won 16 Premier Leagues, 59 Champions Leagues. Zinchenko is better. Are people saying better, easily better? for If you're going to do a Prem 11 or whatever, and you can only have Gary Jesus. Neville or Zinchenko in there, I know they're different positions, but as fullbacks, Zinchenko wipes the floor. Well, let's talk about it. And, and this is what I was saying. You, yeah, <laughs> I copped it. Pause. Neymar, oh, you're disrespecting Garincha. Look, Garincha has a World Cup, blah, 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 blah. Gary Neville has 29 <laughs> league titles with United. Zinchenko <laughs> is 50 times the player Gary Neville is. He couldn't put in any performance like what we saw this morning. Um, I agree with you 100%. And also, I'd like to say that City deserves some form of punishment for allowing this to happen. Shacked in a fool. Yeah, they, they deserve <laughs> some, something. In a fool. They deserve something because how do you let a player of Zinchenko's quality, someone who can play in so many different positions, midfield and play, look like one of the best midfielders in the side, play left back, look like one of the best left backs in the league. The way that, the way that this guy has changed that whole left side for Arsenal, he's the one that's made Shaka how good Shaka is. He's the one who's made Martinelli how good Martinelli is. He's allowing Gabriel mm. to be so comfortable. Anytime they have the ball, there's never any panic. And City deserve everything under the sun, the punishment yeah. for, for this half, what's going on in Arsenal right now. Yeah. They let their assistant coach go to the to the team. They let their striker that's on the bench go to the team. They let their left back go to the team. And I'm sick of it. Yeah, Who's Arsenal. really on his level, Bob? Uh, 
Sure, there's no. I don't think there's anybody. After what I saw today and nah, no the way. Tottenham game back to back like that, those were the best left back performances I've seen in a while. Yes, and you and we listened to Carl Walker say at the start of the season, at the end of last season, he got asked who are the three best technically the three best players at Man City. And he said Zinchenko was one of them. Yeah. And someone said, said it's not even close. And then the, mm. the person interviewing said Zinchenko. And he said, yeah, no, nah, it's not even close. It's clear. Mm. We saw him in the Euros play center mid and he was so, so good. So comfortable. Every game he was their best, their best player. Yeah. And now you're seeing him play left back, but this isn't a regular left back. Yeah. For everyone that thinks that he's playing a regular left back or thinks that someone else can do what he does, they can't. Zinchenko's who Chelsea thought they were getting with Kukurea. Yeah, definitely. Oh, exactly. And so I, to segue that perfectly, the <laughs> worst game in the history of the Premier League. Oh, oh yeah, go. Can I just shout out Eddie and Ketio? You can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. of course Please. you can. Big Eddie. Mm -hmm. I can, performance-wise, top three strikers in the Prem easily. <laughs> Ever? <laughs> right now. Yeah. Good save, good save. In terms of goals. No, nah, because some people- No, no, in attacking. terms of goals, I think he's top two. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Look at this guy. Thanks. He's, I'm he's, just saving he's you, bro, because TikTok people come at you. Uh, Based on performance yeah. right now, in terms of goals, in yeah. terms of contribution, he's top two in the world right now. Can I say something? What the hell's going on? What? Top two in the world? No, fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. it. Can I say something? Say whatever you want. What the fuck is this? No. There, are, there are dudes that were like bit saying in Ketia this and Ketia that as a joke. No, and, no. And it's fucking annoying that they've turned out to be No, no, right. but if you look at, if you look at his, the, his goals. He yeah, is, he's good. He looks good. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying he's the best. I'm just saying based on what he's doing right now, you can consider him in there. In the, the top, top two, two in the world. In the world. People are, look at, look at his stats. No, are you saying that or are you, are you not saying I'm that? saying if you look at his but stats. what's his stats? What's his stats? <laughs> hey, you might need to go put on that position <laughs> again, four man. I think my, what MJ says is, I'm doing a clean up here. No, you're not. What MJ you're is not saying is since Enkedia came into the side, yeah, since he's been, been a starting. top three striker in the league. That's what since he said. Be, he since said he's been starting. He said world and, and top, top two. two. <laughs> you can't say him. Well, and well, Harlan just scored a hat-trick. No, 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 Harlan's first. <laughs> Harlan's first. What about Lewandowski? And Enkedia is the second best striker. No, in but in terms, of, in, terms of, in terms of goal scoring, what and the hell are you doing right now. What the hell is going on? Lewandowski just went to Barca and he's top goal scorer in the league. Yeah, he's got- What are you doing? Kane has got more goals than him. Yeah. Then who? Since, since he started. Yeah. Since he's no, been Le started. Lewa has so many goals. Yeah, yeah but like Lewa has a lot of goals. Three in all comps. How, how many, since he started. How many, how many goals he has, came into has the he side, scored since he's started? Since That's what I'm saying. A lot. All right. Also, the Premier League has had way more games than all the rest of the leagues. That's, that's so what? I don't know what we're doing, what this, this <laughs> is going on. <laughs> I'm kind of- no, He's but not taking away from the fact that Enketi has been yeah. a player that yeah. we nobody thought he could reach this level of one year ago. Yeah. Mm. Shut up. You did not. Uh, yeah. Can I say something? Yeah, as a joke. Say, I don't know think. I don't Dude, like, do just be like, oh, We're not trying to spend too much time Can I, No, no, I'll just say something real quick. <laughs> About three weeks ago, I was I opened TikTok and I heard this song. <laughs> <laughs> and I just quickly just swiped it. <laughs> this morning I wake up, turn it on, I play the full block. You know what it was? That's been playing the whole time. My we car, might need subtitles for uh, that. Work, everything. Yeah, yeah we need, need subtitles. Bad. All I do is. Man, I love Eddie. Let's go quickly. We're not going to spend too much time on this because this game really shouldn't be talked about, but it was just so disappointing. I was actually excited for the game. I thought it would be somewhat yeah. close. Mid table clash. And it. I was, I was put to sleep. It is a mid-table yeah, clash. Don't say that. You know it's it's not. It, it is. But that it's was not. the level. It that was honestly that the was level. the level of football. Mate, that was the standings on the ladder. The that was like. the players that were on the pitch, especially on the Liverpool side. That was one of the most mid T games. The thing is, I've ever seen. Yeah, the the two said, but you don't need to nah, say. It. But let's stop because the two starting lineups the on its own. Commentators said it yeah. before the game. The two starting lineups on its own represented a mid-table clash. The two playing styles represented a mid-table clash. The intensity, the atmosphere, mid-table clash. The coaching on the sideline, the decisions they made, mid-table clash. The players' actual performances in the game, mid-table clash. And a nil-all draw where no chances in the game. The only one thing that made anyone a little bit excited was Mudrick coming on and, mm -hmm. and running a bit. But he was getting marked Sick by who? 37-year-old James Milner. Uh, yeah. So realistically, I, I don't know how I'm going to keep... Jesse said this last year about Arsenal. He said, <laughs> how do I come here 36 <laughs> weeks blood, 38? Weeks, yeah, that's a lot of weeks. Said, that's a lot of 36 weeks. That's a lot of weeks. That's me. That's how I feel right now. When I have to wake up at 3.30 to watch these guys play and do that. Yeah, facts. 36 weeks. You think I want to do that? I don't want to. 
I really, really wish there was part of me that could be like Jesse and just not watch the game. <laughs> You'd be way happier. But you I can't. Would. And I'm sick of Liverpool playing like this. I'm sick of the squad that we have at the moment. I'm mm. sick of the, the just, it's not even, we used to press. We used to try and win the ball back That's up the high. We used to attack quick. We used to I score I couldn't tell goals. you the, how we play anymore. That's because we were press At all. <laughs> First half we <laughs> sat off. Second half we pressed. Neither of them worked. Neither yeah, because we were press <laughs> resistant. We're first half behind. we went long, second half we tried to play, neither of them worked. Yep. We yeah. had no intensity in the first half, we tried to step the intensity up, You know what didn't it is? work at all. We had no standout you player. To, you need to stop playing that fraud, Elliot. He, he, your coach is trying so hard to fit mm -hmm. him in anywhere. I, I, said it. We, I don't think you are mean, in a position to be telling That's what I was about to say. Uh, uh, tell us people what who they should playing. play and who they shouldn't play. What do you mean? We just went to Look Anfield Look at your fucking point. DM that played. <laughs> Why are you talking? We just went to He's Anfield a left got a point. Back. If anything, you should be more pissed. This is our worst ever, ever run ever. And we got a point at Anfield. You, you spent, half, you spent, you spent half a billion dollars yeah, and you've got how much yeah, more. Yeah, but more. You, you, spent, more. you spent $650 billion mm -hmm. and you came to Anfield. We're on our worst run as well. So I don't what know what you're talking run? about. Last year when you got spanked by Burnley and this guy was doing this. That wasn't last year. That was like three years ago. Get your worst run. Get your years right. This was your worst run. What's his name? Get your years right. What's his name? Get your years right. Name. We literally <laughs> finished. Yeah, you're probably scared of him because he we didn't finish. Finished, we finished third that year, so I don't know how, what you're talking about. How can about. you spend half a billion dollars more and have yeah. and have fucking Lewis or whatever his name is playing DM? Put in, yeah. put in yeah. literally yeah. the worst and performance then he could, I've ever. Left back. Are, you, are you all right? That was the worst performer. That's mm. the worst performance yeah, I've far. ever seen in the Premier League. What are you talking about, mate? By far. If it wasn't him, you're just biased. We have Elliot in the midfield, and he was worse. He was. He was terrible. And let's not talk about the guy that goes Houdini, Mohamed Houdini Salah, <laughs> went missing the whole game. You don't want to talk about him? At least <laughs> Hall was trying to get on the he's ball. He's been finished. What was, what was Hall Salah should doing? not go anywhere near the ball. <laughs> At least he's not, a, he's not scared. I like promise you he won't play that He moved out of his yeah. position so he didn't touch We're the not ball. You can tell Salah has not eaten, drinking or anything. You see, look at his beard. You see his beard the other day? Yeah, he's in lockdown. He thinks he's freaking, what's his name? It's good, he's celebrating Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Pimento. <laughs> I mean, we can. Hey, yeah. Before we're not spending if too much time on is, this fucking mid-table um, clash. I just want to sum up. I just want to sum up how mid-table this, this game was. was awful. In the 81st minute, tri Chelsea made a triple sub. The players they brought on were Aubameyang, Azpilicueta, and Chukumwameka. Yeah. Yeah, and Liverpool at the same time brought on Hendo, Fabinho, and Curtis Jones. Yeah, this is the most mid-table clash I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I never want to see these two play again. Me either. And I don't want to watch Facts. any They're more games. My fucking club. Where no, joke. <laughs> no, joke. I said that was the worst. No, I was sucks. on the bench hoping Darwin came on. Yeah, for a bit of energy. Just a bit of excitement. And he did bring a little bit of energy yeah. at least. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, players that we had on the seconds. field were bringing no energy. It was yeah. nothing. You know what? Gakpo looks horrible. He was yeah. awful. Gakpo, you mean? You know what? Jeremy, I know why he's upset. Tell me. It makes sense. Tell me. They spent so much money. Mm. Underwhelming. Yep. Hey, this, mo <laughs> this money's not even coming out of my pocket. Why would I be upset? Yeah. I just went to Anfield. You are upset. Oh, 50, 50 game on beating streak Anfield. We just got a point over there. Don't think I care about Yeah, but man. they're still on beat. I was sleeping like they lost, this. They lost to the Leeds there. I was sleeping year. like also, this. You guys, you two, you were sleeping upside down on your bed. I saw. And you, you didn't <laughs> even sleep in your room. You went and slept on the, on, on the couch you were watching the game in. Why would I do that? Uh, <laughs> we watch at my own Before now. we move out of the Prem, I want to do a couple <laughs> January transfers and just tell me what you rate them, how you feel about them yeah. before we cool. move on. Tom, tell me about Gakpo. Oh, he looks fucking terrible. <laughs> I know he's played like, what, half you a game? Not half a game. Two games. Just play three. Now nah, let him go. Let him go. You'll get your one. Don't worry. Yeah. I think that he's going to come good. Obviously, he's coming to a struggling team that is underperforming and is in a... I suppose they're in a transition period where they don't even know what the fuck they're doing. The coach doesn't know what they're doing. We brought in another left-sided player who we really didn't need. And But, I mean, he played against Chelsea. He looked like a donkey, but I'm hoping that he'll... Yeah. We, obviously, like the World Cup, he's going to be useful. PSV, he scored and assisted. The World Cup, you can see that he can score goals and that mm -hmm. he can provide. But at the moment, doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. We're also not going to pretend that just because he came in January, he doesn't get an adjustment. Period. Yeah, he like should. He doesn't have to. Yeah, play. he's thirty-five mil, and it's only he's it's young only because it's, it's only it's because we worst. have injuries that he's had to come have yeah. to come straight. Yeah, in. of course. Yeah, let's go over to you, mate. How do you feel? We can do the Modric one if you want. Yeah, How do you feel do about them? <laughs> him <laughs> snaking <laughs> Arsenal, Chelsea Man. putting it over the line. That you know, ask these guys. I was on the edge of my seat the whole game when he came mm. on. This guy's electric it's quality. He blitzed. Um, Milner Hummers, was yeah, Hummers. from the he was he gave him a ten meter head start, still blitzed him. 
This guy looks electric. The last person to do this, and I was this excited, was probably Hazard. So it's a long time ago. Big things. Time. Yeah. Big things coming for this guy. I uh, really like him. If you could mm. give it that transfer letter grade, what would you do? 100 mil, remember? B. B plus. Nice. Plus. Yeah. Okay. Mike Trossard. I mean, if you look at Trossard, he's prem proven. Technically, he's very good. And I think he's going to add a decent amount to the squad. So I'd say that's a B. Yeah. Mm. For 20 mil as well. 20 mil. I think it's a very good signing. Seven goals already in the league. He, yeah. He goes tired as Arsenal's top He's an international. Scorer. He looked tidy when he came on. Very yeah. tidy. We yeah. could have we could have maybe gone for like a centre mid as a priority. Yeah. Maybe another striker to support as a priority. But mm. and he's older. Getting, it's good that he's older. Yeah. yeah. It's good that And he can age. play across the front three. Yeah. He's not really tied to that. So I rate it. Yeah. I'm happy. Samuel, I want you to tell us how you feel. Did you, uh, I don't know if you watched the game, so I can't tell you, but Maybe. United are in a position where they can really push on. I think United can get second. Mm-hmm. Potentially they could have got first if they got a result today. They still yeah. can realistically, but it's a lot harder now. And they s- settled for a four million pound loan for the fake Veghorst. Yeah, <laughs> as Gold, Goldbridge said, "Woot <laughs> wet horse <laughs> sounds like something out of Harry Potter." Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's a bad signing. Mm. I think he offers something. I saw a video about it and and Ten Hag's past strikers and who he's used in his sides, and he's he's more often than not gone for a back to goal striker who's who's good at bringing others into play, and I think that's perfect for having Bruno in the side because he's someone that thrives off the striker and getting in behind. And I think that would work for Rashford, but it's clear to see that the, the board now that they want to sell the owners, now that they want to sell, there's no ambition in, 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 the, in the signings They They mm. were linked with so many other strikers, yeah. strikers that would have, but even in, in August, they were linked with Arnautovic as the main. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The they were in, linked with Arnautovic, yeah. Rabiot, mm. these kind of players. Yeah. But now I guess, Thanks to Ten Hag, they're a they're a top four contender, yeah, definitely. strong favourites. At yeah. the start of the season, they didn't look like they were going to be. Mm. The signings that they made, they didn't look like they were going to be. But now they are. Big horses in. Hopefully, he can score some goals for them and bring others into play. I guess. Yep. Um, before we leave the prem, I want to talk about. Apparently, it came out today that Conte Tottenham, it's done. He's leaving at the end of the season. <laughs> He's not re-signing, and it's been a weird thing about. Basically, he doesn't want to re-sign because he's not getting backed, but then it's like a whole roundabout where the club don't want to back him because he doesn't want to re-sign. And also, yeah. like, Daniel Levy doesn't want to just spend, spend, spend if he's not going to commit his future to Tottenham. To give the yeah. And he doesn't want to sign because he doesn't think they're going to back him. Yeah, and have to... So, if for Tottenham, if imagine they give him more money, right? So, he's already spent. But they're not going to pretend that he didn't spend last window because he did. Mm. And... They give him now more money he spends than he leaves at the end of the season and a new coach has to come in and mess around mm. with the squad that they've got from him where he's obviously a defensive-minded coach. He's yeah. playing with a five at the back. Mm. He's playing with midfielders with no creativity. So I don't know what's going to happen. And uh-huh. so this sort of leads me into a three-part question, Tom, you can answer. The first one is, Conte out, Does that? M- what does that mean for Tottenham? The second one is, are Tottenham one of the most imposter clubs yeah. to ever exist? Yes. <laughs> and, yeah. and three, apparently, even with uh, Conte leaving, Harry Kane still wants to commit his future to the club. What, a freak what do you loser. think of his <sighs> mentality? In terms design? of being the imposter thing, look at what happened with Chelsea and Inter. Mm-hmm. Conte's not a, he's not a manager who's going to stay there for five to ten years. You know you're going to get three max. You'll get two very good years. What Inter and Chelsea did is they gave him the money that he wanted, let him build the squad that he wanted, and he gave them both titles. Mm-hmm. You bring into a you bring him to a Tottenham team who have zero titles in fucking I don't know since the sixties <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. It's black and white. No and you say, anything. okay, we've got a proven manager now. We know his history. Let's just give him what he wants for two or three years. See what happens. You have to take that risk, otherwise you're just going to stay in the cy- the exact cycle that you're in. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It seems like um, both parties don't want to be the villain in this situation. Like they don't want to be like, so in Conte's side, he doesn't want to be like, he doesn't want to be hated uh, by I the don't fans. Think he cares. I don't think he cares. <laughs> no, but he doesn't want to leave knowing that they're going to blame him for it. And the club don't want to 
get rid of him and then the fans are like, oh, why'd you get rid of him? Mm. Yeah, it's like, I, get that. Mm. I feel like both parties are like, they don't want to be the villain, so they're kind of waiting for the other one to make well, the move. Conte's, right. Conte's making it clear that he yeah. doesn't think it's they're his both, fault. I think they're both happy. They both are happy with either decision. They just don't want to push. Like, both parties don't want to be the one that pushes. I think Tottenham should be upset with the way that things are going. Yeah. Because realistically, Absolutely. the club, how can you bring in... Uh, a coach like him, there has to be the problem. It can't be Conte. That's what it is. It can't be because not. realistically, he want to think. You guys saw he squad at Inter. He mm. won the league title. He took it away from Juventus and he won a league title. He comes to Tottenham. First season, he's he's there. He gets them up to third or fourth, right? Yeah, fourth. They finished fourth last year. Yeah, yeah, fourth. fourth. And then yeah. now he spends money, but did he sign who he wanted? Did he get everything he wanted? He mustn't have Probably because not. now he's making it so clear that he sees the squad as weak and he sees what they're doing as up to standard. He thinks this is what they're capable of. He doesn't think they're better than this. Yeah, well, like, it's been realistic. Speak to me about Harry Kane. If he does commit to Tottenham, Freak. he essentially cements himself going his whole career without a trophy. Do you think... It's a. There's something wrong with his ambition. Do you think he should be chasing titles? How do you feel about Harry Kane? If he finishes his career at Tottenham, zero trophies, but as the Premier League top goal scorer, is that a good enough career for him? I mean, from one end, you can look at it from goals. He's, he scores goals consistently. But I think if you look at a career, what defines most careers as elite or top level players, whether that's a striker, midfielder, it's what you've won. Mm. And I'm. I'm it's mind boggling to me that he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to win titles. Mm. He's happy almost to kind of be out of the way where there's no pressure to win, where he can kind of do his thing and he can kind of keep making his name and keep, you know, buying his way into places. But in terms of what he's doing, I'm like, he should be saying, I want to win titles. I want to go to the top teams. I want to prove myself at bigger clubs because mm. let's be real. Tottenham's not one of the biggest clubs no. in the Premier League. Mm. They probably should be, but they're not. And in my mind, it doesn't make sense as to why he wouldn't make that move. And I wonder if maybe that City deal that kind of didn't go through was him saying, I don't want to move there. Mm. Mm. But yeah, for me, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense. It's disappointing. I think he's good enough to be at other clubs, but maybe mentally he's not ready to make that jump. Because we've kind of seen it throughout his career where he's had moments where um, he's had a lot of, he's had a lack of confidence. Um, he's kind of like struggled in the bigger games where he, he you know, he doesn't quite, have the impact he has. We've seen at the World Cup. We've seen it in some of the Premier League seasons. Yes, he scores goals, but I think in those important moments, mm. I think that's where he lacks. Maybe he doesn't have that mental killer instinct mm. like strikers who would be considered better um, because of that. Mm. And that's probably what's hurt him the most. This, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, this situation reminds me of that meme. You know, the one it's like, um, just a reminder, Luka Modric left Tottenham at 27 with zero trophies, mm. went to Madrid, won 21 trophies. In the That's crazy. Yeah. And that rem that makes me think like, of course it's not too late for Harry Kane if he leaves now. Yeah. But you're looking at his play, he's slowed down a lot right, in right. terms he's, of everything he's other than had goals. chances to go. Yeah, and he's had, clear. he but has had chances clear. to go. And I think for me, the perception of him is only going to decrease as he stays at Tottenham. Yes. There's so many players that are better than Kane that are scrutinized because they haven't won certain trophies or they haven't done this or they haven't done that. Look at Neymar. Look, he hasn't won a World Cup, so he's viewed as already less than players who have won a World Cup. Mm. Harry Kane has not won a trophy, full stop. That's insane. And he's still put up with the likes of Benzema, with the likes of Lewandowski. Does him just not winning anything, does that mean he's going to go down as one of the best strikers in the Premier League? Even Alan Shearer has a Premier League. Does he? He's obviously going to go down as one of the best, but yeah. where does he fall on that list if he doesn't end up yeah, with any? I think it's a grey area because from one end, yeah, he hasn't won anything, but his goal records Speaks ridiculous. Mm. So it's like, do we look at him as a striker, which people mostly only really talk about goals? Whenever we compare strikers, it's this guy scored this many goals in this many seasons, blah blah blah. Mm. blah. So it's hard. I think it's a little grey area where he might be, but. I think most people look at him, yeah, he was an exceptional goal scorer. He scored this many goals, this many golden boots. He's one of the best. Which, is that fair? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's a weird one. I don't think so. For but that's how for it- For me, yeah. the, the greatest players play in the greatest teams. Mm -hmm. And the greatest teams win, win the all the trophies. Yeah. 
So that's why you f- look so fondly on people who've played for Barcelona, Madrid, United, <laughs> Chelsea, AC. Liverpool, AC, Inter, you know, those teams of old. If he doesn't win a trophy and doesn't go to a bigger club, mm. and yeah. especially if he doesn't get the Premier League goal scoring record, mm. yeah. it's all for what? Yeah. Exactly. I think he's very unlucky though, or a bit unfortunate because he did want to go to City. It's just the Tottenham manager wanted more. And now he's he was linked with United, but he's they United don't want to. They don't. They can't spend money now because they're the waiting for this new deal. New contracts, bro. Mm. But if I think no player, if they want to leave, yeah. this, keep signing new contracts consistently. That's what I mean. Such I think large he, he could have left. Yeah, most definitely. And no uh, question. And really deep down, surely in his head, he's like, I don't think I can win at Tottenham. I don't know. He, he knows. Know. He would know for he sure. Yeah, I, I don't think I can win at Tottenham. Look at the squad that you have around you. Mm. Look at it's it's not a terrible squad, obviously, but you want to be compared to Benzema, you want to be compared to Lewandowski, you want to be compared to these players, the best in the world, Aguero, whatever. Like this is who you want to be compared with. Winning no trophies in your whole career, a goal record, of course, is amazing, and you're going to be one of. Mm. But with his resume and his skill set and his talent, he could be the best in England. Before we move on, if Kane say he does, it's likely that he does get the. Premier League golden like boot record record top scorer record. Where does he rank on the best strikers at their best in the Premier League for you guys? At their best? Or yeah, at their best. So does that not change if he wins I mean, the record or not? No, well you'll know he's won that. But I'm saying where does he rank? You can do it as a as a career, but he's not gonna have any a, a career wise, I just think is Harry Kane better than Thierry Henry? No. no. Is Harry Kane better than Bruni? No. no. Is Harry Kane better than Aguero? No. no. Is Harry Kane better than Suarez? No. no. And Suarez didn't win. Yeah. But the thing is, Harry Kane's been there how many years? 10 or been more consistent. Nine, eight years. So where does consistency years. come into this? Yeah. Yeah. For me, he'd sit out just outside the top five. I could think he's probably even further. But what's the weight on a Premier League? Is it a lot? Because for some players I mean, it's a lot and for some it's not. With where j- People will say, like myself, will say Gerrard is number one. It has to be a lot. because yeah, it has to be a lot, but ha- what is it? Because like Jamie Vardy's won a Premier League and scored an k- insane amount of goals. Yeah. And Does he, he rank he, above he, Harry Kane he because he's, he's won? Mm. And he won people with will a, say that. He's won with the worst people team People will definitely well. say that. They have the same amount of golden boots, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but people could also say this guy's had the opportunities to leave. And him choosing to stay is ruining his own legacy in that in that sense. Yeah, yeah. but isn't that on him? <coughs> exactly. Absolutely. So I think people could use that as the argument as to why He's he not. shouldn't be in the top because he just couldn't... He just thinks he couldn't... Um, do it at the top level. Yeah. I don't know. I think he's outside the top 10. We haven't even thought about like Van Persie, players like that. Drogba, Drogba. Van Nistelrooy. Yeah, these guys all won as well. Torres. Yeah. So Van Persie, good. if he doesn't Torres. go to United and win that season... I think he's because he went to United, won that season, won Golden Boot, he's amazing. viewed as higher. Yeah. He's even better than the, than he was if yeah, he just counted I agree. Arsenal. But do yeah, we think maybe, I agree. maybe because he's English, he's an English boy, English that lab. he gets that. <laughs> yeah. He gets, that. <laughs> he gets a lot of leniency for sure. Definitely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go. Oh, I want to go to Italy. I want to yeah, look at this Juve. Yeah. Juve, oh, the other day, right? Juve. Got fucking pumped by Napoli. <laughs> yeah, by the best side in Italy. Yeah, they're fucking good. 5-1. 5 0, 5 1. 5 1. Five, one. one. Just completely annihilated. Demolished. Days later, scandal comes out. And this guy's actually the Tottenham director now, I'm fairly sure. The the one who was linked to this Juve scandal. So you guys know what happened with Juve. Yeah. So basically, Juve have been docked 15 points for inflating transfer values and lying to financial officials. Yeah. So, so what they did pretty mm. much was. Um, Juve allegedly made so much money because they inflated the values of outgoing players. They realized that they could inflate all the values of players in swap deals to make them seem like they were the same amount oh, so that they could uh, spend like, way for like more. Pjanic and, Pjanic and yeah. Artur. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I knew there was something off about like, that. Pjanic, Pjanic go for that much. So, yeah. like, 50 mil? For instance, <laughs> Artur's five-year deal in Turin would have been registered at 14.4 mil per year, which was the full... 60 mil Pjanic fee. So like they made it so mm. that it was the exact same so that they could yeah, then they spend had to be yeah. as much there. as they wanted. Yeah. Um, and so they got docked 15 Which points, sits them in 10th. Which <laughs> drops them down to 10th. Which I mean, means they could easily miss out on Europe. 
all European comps. Juve. <sighs> Juve, who went nine seasons in a row winning the league. What are you guys' thoughts? It's not like we haven't seen it before. I was going to say, it's Juve been done by these guys. Specifically. And, but I want to ask you a question. Yeah. If you're, say you're, you're the captain, yeah. whatever, of Juve yeah. this season. Who is that captain, by the way? Benucci, I assume. No idea. When, he doesn't start, though. I don't know. Love, let's just pretend we know. And yeah, say yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> probably Leeds Steiner. Probably. <laughs> He's, <definitely not>. yeah. <laughs> He's awesome. Um, <laughs> you're the captain. Juve, last, last game of the season, docked more points, relegated. You doing the Del Piero? You staying down? What do you think Del Piero was thinking at the time? How do you feel about Juve? If I'm a player right now, yeah, yeah. I'm the captain. Yeah. They're saying, no. We're getting the yeah, You're going, yeah, you're getting, no, no. You're getting oh, relegated. relegated, relegated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm telling everyone, like, <laughs> can't wait to see you next year. I think next year is going to be a year we'll be up and stuff back, back in the... <laughs> Back in City R. Yeah. CB is not for us. We know that, boys. Us. We just want everyone to commit. <laughs> Do the 360 out the door, bro. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Not shaking no hands, not dapping up no one. I'm at that door. I'm not. I'm, I'm leaving everything there. I'm leaving my phone, everything. I'm leaving everything. I'm making sure people think I'm still training and shit. I'm leaving the shower on. <laughs> leaving voice memos on me whistling in the shower I'm gonna think I'm gonna make sure everyone thinks I'm still at the club I'm gonna pay Fabrizio five mil just to tell everyone here we go again Kajorin is signing for Juve he's staying any other rumours are completely wrong don't believe anything I'm staying I'm going I don't care if he's going to a Serie B team to another Serie B team <laughs> just to beat these guys I'm out of there if these guys don't know don't learn from the first mistake. What makes you think they're going to learn from the second, third, fourth, fifth? They could go down to league fucking Zid, Series Z, for all <laughs> I know. So, why the fuck am I saying this? Yeah. It's a fucking volcano it's ready exactly, to erupt. It's exactly yep. what I thought you would say. Yeah. Where do you guys stand on, I know this isn't, <laughs> the Juve aren't going to get relegated this year, but you never know. Man. when Del Piero stayed, Kane staying at Tottenham, where, how do you feel about this loyalty in football like do you feel like you view players differently because they were loyal like it, what what do you It depends thoughts? who it is in 2023 <laughs> yeah. what's because your thoughts if if you're a player like someone you come up from the Barcelona youth academy right they've been nurturing you since how however long whatever and then you get to 25 and you don't want to leave all right but if you're Harry Kane you were signed from Leicester, was he not signed? Oh, he, no, he went on loan. No, he was just gone out on loan. Kane yeah, was an Arsenal alone, youth player, players. wasn't he? Only to like eight. Then eight he was eight. at Spurs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then he got yeah. loaned out. You're and then he got saying shit at the moment. And then he got, yeah. and then he got yeah. but wasn't he Arsenal? He's got a <laughs> favourite Arsenal kid. Yeah. Yeah. He was like eight. He looked old. You're just feeling that word count in your essay. He went to Tottenham at like 10. Realistically though, if you have aspirations and dreams as a player. Say Del Piero. You can understand why. Do you think Del Piero is a bad dog because he stayed? I think that's. Uh, you yeah, can yeah, respect the decision. I, I personally wouldn't care if he left. I yeah. wouldn't bat an eye. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd, but I'd, I'd, be, you leave? I'd be the fucking gone the next <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, I would be gone as well. Thank because you. at the moment, football is a business. They of do course. not give a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. Realistically, mm-hmm. at the moment, yeah. they're all trying to fucking balance books and inflate this and deflate that. Facts. They don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're from the country anymore. They'll just get someone new in. Yeah, exactly. right. So Can it is what it is. All right. So Gerard, for example, you guys feel a way about Gerard because he didn't because he stayed, and of despite course. you not winning anything for so long, Champions League was 2005. From 2005 to 14, mm. whenever he stayed, his last game they lost six one to Stoke. Yes, Do you, you I just love him for it. For no reason. I love but him yeah. for staying. You say if, you love him if he staying. left. You, as a human, you can understand. No, but would you view him differently? Yeah, of course. You'd right, hate yeah. him, wouldn't you'd you? Hate no, yeah. you'd, no, I wouldn't hate him. Would hate him. <laughs> you would hate him. You would hate him. You actually like him. Gerard went to Chelsea. If Gerard went to Madrid. If, no, I would not. If he went to Chelsea, I would, yeah, would, I'd feel you'd, different you'd if feel he went to, than if he went to Madrid. But for sure. if he went to Madrid, you'd Cal- feel like- Remember when Henri left? Yeah. How upset were you? Fabregas, he, I fucking yeah. hate him. Everybody. Anybody who <laughs> left, I like Fabregas him. now, but there was a period where I was. No, yeah. when upset. he goes back to Chelsea, though, yeah, sure. But when you leave to go to a better club, a, and in a different if you country, have aspirations oh, no. of 
a dream, whatever it is. No. I'm, I so don't you're I'm only upset if they're what rivals for the same title? No. Yes. yes. For the yeah, same, yeah, yeah. Uh, rivals for the same so. title. No, for the like, same title. Right, yeah. Good. If they make my team weaker, I'm. I'm yeah. upset. When Mane left, I was sad, but I wasn't yeah, like that it, guy's a dick. Exactly. Really? I was. I yeah. wasn't distraught when Hazard left. He isn't upset. even a club. No, I was upset. I'm upset at the club. I don't hate him. Hate. Okay. Yeah. I'm upset for the club at the club for letting him go, but I'm not upset at him for. Wanting, wanting to, to go, yeah. Himself and do I think else. I think the Joe yeah. one's different though. He could have gone to Chelsea like maybe he five times. Yeah, easily. Yeah. He could have gone Lots to Madrid times. five and times. Madrid. Uh, I want to talk about CR7 quickly. <laughs> so CR7 yeah. should be <laughs> now CR plays his football in 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 Saudi Arabia, <laughs> and he's thirty eight. So to preface, if this was any other Fair footballer, mm -hmm. nobody would care at all. Yeah, no, there would be no backlash. There'd be nothing. You're getting the bag. You're securing it at X age. You're you're doing what you need to do. The bag's been secured though. The bag's <laughs> been secured, but also even get, so, get whatever. Your get your money. But whatever. Get your money up. You've dropped the you've dropped the thirty for thirty with Piers That's Morgan. That's the only <laughs> yeah. thing it is. <laughs> you dropped the thirty for thirty with Piers Morgan. You got bench World Cup, and you've gone to Saudi Arabia because you've heard good things about the league, Child. and there are still shameless CR Seven fanboys on Twitter saying. Look at this Ronaldo dropped a great debut. Can you imagine? <laughs> I could the fucking go there tomorrow <laughs> and drop a good debut. In a <laughs> tour game. Did you, it, was, it was for that tour PSG game. PSG were not even playing seriously. No one gives a shit. Speed, all these Man U fans have just, I mean, Ronaldo fans have turned into speed because after the game, he was. He said he was recording, he had tears in his eyes. He said, the GOAT debate's over. He said, Ronaldo <laughs> scored two, Messi scored one. The GOAT debate's over. You think Messi gives a shit? Literally. The Man U, I mean, whatever <laughs> team. What team? Al Nasir. Al Nasir played against PSG in a friendly. Ronaldo scored a double. Like, amazing. Good for him. Mm. I'm happy for him that he's happy again. He scored. That's yeah, what I he loves doing. I think they played a, a league game the other day. I think he yeah, played the other day. one nil. Yeah, he didn't score. Captain. He got the assist header. Oh, his header was meant to, his header was meant, to, he was sh like trying to score. Mm. Came off his head and the guy behind him scored. Yeah, and yeah you're he's telling, captain. If, if <laughs> the same people that are watching this and saying Ronaldo's dropping masterclasses, I'm sure none of them watched Xavi when he was playing for Al Halal. Yeah. yeah. Saying Xavi's putting midfield masterclass. No you want to know exactly. <laughs> this is shameless Xavi fucking stance. <laughs> oh, shut up, man. We were watching, me and Sam were doing like this beef thing where we were, oh, I think it was me and my dad, or maybe me and Tommy, we're doing this beef thing where we were comparing Modric and, and Xavi, and we're watching like Modric videos, and like they're all obviously current, like 37. Xavi's best highlight this is just had four <laughs> minutes of of Al Hilal one highlights. Freak, True or false? One free True YouTuber, or false? One True free or false? YouTuber made a highlights video that had a lot of Al Hilal <laughs> videos. True, and they were trying to say he's competitive. Anyway, right. yeah. Get off that. Ronaldo, how That's do you guys cool. feel? About, do you think it does anything to his legacy, him going there? It really shouldn't, but nah. it shouldn't, nah, but it can to me. It can. It's just funny. It can. I thought it would to MJ because they made way of Abu yeah. Bakr. <laughs> they waved him. <laughs> ah, they they, they waved him. Waved him. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, and he's clubless now. <laughs> he got no, is that Oh, yeah, so yeah. They, made, they did a three way. <laughs> oh, he's, yeah. he's with Ozil now. No, Veghorst went United. Yeah. Ronaldo went out in the sea and Abu Bakar went Besiktas. Yeah, yeah. No, no, actually, now that you mentioned that, <laughs> I'm pissed off, man. Yeah, now I'm pissed. <laughs> Up and no, coming the player. only thing is Abu you can't Bakar. drop that with peers. Mm. Yeah, say that you're it. still the yeah. best player. And that's the problem. Say you only want to go to a Europe uh, Champions League team. Yeah. And say there's yeah. heaps of and fucking clubs are all around you're the world that are wanting enough. me. Yeah. How can you sign for a team in Saudi Arabia and say, Oh, and I had a lot of interest from Europe, you know, mm. America, Australia. all these things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you dropped that. And you picked that. Who the hell was going to sign him? Who that was? And why did he- Central Coast. Why, did, why is Rooney sitting in wherever he is at the moment just copping strays? Yeah, yeah for no reason. No, for no reason. He, apparently he, say him and Rooney he said got, he was like fat. They, they got some beef and shit. Oh, he was saying that Rooney's- he He's better looking than Rooney. Yeah, he's better looking. Yeah. Rooney's fucking lost a plot, but he's he wants to fight KSI no, as well it's now. It's because it's literally- <laughs> He has. It's literally lost a plot. Work, it's because Rooney said that Messi's the best player ever that's and yeah. Ronaldo got upset because that's one of his best teammates. That's why. Yeah. That's the only thing. That's the issue. And Piers Fair Morgan's cool. over here deriding the hell out of Ronaldo for what He reason? loves him. Yeah, yeah he yeah. loves him. I didn't expect that. Why is he commenting on his photos like it's his wife? Like it's Giannis and Giannis' wife. That's how he's commenting. Yeah. When are you going to be home? Eggplant emoji. <laughs> That's Piers Morgan to Ronaldo. But I do see him 
coming back to Europe though. For, for some who's, reason, I who's going to sign him though? I just I just see it happening. Like for football? Yeah. Like when? This, like Champions this season? Like maybe ne- to live? Like next Champions next League? Next year? Yeah. No, I, I actually, no I, honestly, I see it. Hell no, cut. Who's going to who's gonna pay his wages that match what he's on at the moment? It could I wanted be just, him at Chelsea. Who's, it, could, it could just be a one year. What Champions League team's going to Gonna yeah. buy him. Top and and, be and that can anyway, afford so. him. Todd Bowie, baby. They're not gonna be in Champions League. One ring a ding ding. He's not gonna want to play conference. Yeah. Who? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. <laughs> you think we're in conference? <laughs> You're nearly bottom half. <laughs> You're close. Yeah. Uh, we're holding your hand right now. Yeah, you we're above you. We're, your hand <laughs> we're like Simba and Ding. <laughs> What's his brother? Mustafi. Nala. Mustafi. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said Socrates and Mustafi. <laughs> no, I said Simba. You know that scene where he's falling off the thing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you guys are trying to That's throw it off? That's throw us yeah. off? That's Pumba. <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell is this guy? He had too much coffee. Bunda. You got cement <laughs> stuck in your ears or something? Yeah, yeah. You know, Tom's a construction guy, by the way. Uh, this has been Let Him Shoot. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. Nah, redo that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> when they, I was doing it. <laughs> this has been Let Him Shoot. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll be back next week, same time, same year, same day, every day, all day. We're here. 2023. Big things coming. Bron, bron year. What are you doing on your bron year? Yeah, facts. Thank you for watching. Let's go.